This Kettle Van Living segment is sponsored by Vance Thompson Vision, where they are changing lives by creating vision. With so many options and variables surrounding vision correction, it can be difficult to determine what is truly the best option for you. While LASIK is the household name for improving vision through surgery, it may or may not be a good fit for you and your eyes. So I sat down recently with Dr. Daniel Trevine at Vance Thompson Vision. He says there is one procedure that has continued to gain in popularity over the years. It's known as ICL surgery. What may not be so well known is that ICL surgery essentially delivers a lens implant as a no maintenance and permanent solution to improving your vision. Dr. Trevine, thanks for having me out here again. Yeah, thanks Ashley for coming. We talk about all kinds of mm -hmm. eye surgeries. Let's talk about if you can't get LASIK or P. RK is not going to work for you. Yeah. Well, you know, there's a ton of great options for refractive surgery. Uh, and LASIK and PRK are the ones we hear most commonly. But there are certain patients uh, who aren't good candidates for LASIK and PRK. Either their prescription is really, really high or their corneas aren't strong enough to handle laser vision correction. And in those situations, we have some really good options, one of them being implantable columnar lenses or ICLs. So explain an ICL to me a little yeah. bit more. I mean, I'm thinking of my own contact lenses. Yeah, so an, an ICL, it, some people also call it an implantable contact lens, is really just that. Basically, uh, what it is is you make a small cut in the side of the eye, and you place a contact lens inside the eye, and it sits right behind the iris or the colored portion of your eye. And what that does is it just gives you really crystal clear vision and allows us to correct really extreme uh, corrections. What other ways is it beneficial to somebody to get this type of eye surgery? Yeah, you know, the nice part of this particular technique is that lens sits right in the very center of your vision. So I don't know if you've ever, you know, looked, uh, had dirty glasses, or you feel like your contact lens isn't sitting just perfectly, <laughs> perfectly on your eye. The nice part about these is they're totally stable right in the very center of your vision. And so people have amazing quality of vision. And sometimes, even if they were 2025 or 2020 in their glasses or contact lens, is they'll be 2015 or 2010 even better uh, with an ICL in place. You're doing like bionic vision to people? Yes, exactly. So let's talk about what's new with ICLs too because we've talked about them before and in your world everything's always changing and you're always on the front of it. Yeah, so uh, there's been a couple of iterations of, of these uh, types of lenses and the technology just has really continued to improve and so we were recently in a study looking at really the latest iteration of this lens and what this latest iteration does is it gives even better quality of vision with less side effects and so once we place this lens and those uh, the newest iteration is, is recently getting approved after our participation in the clinical trial I think this will be a really big game changer for people. Well you mentioned some side effects so what possible side effects could you have? Yeah these lenses are permanent lenses. They never dissolve, they never degrade, uh, and so they're with the patient for the rest of their life. And so typically uh, these lenses do come out when they have cataract surgery. So in those 50 to 60 year, year old people, uh, once they start to develop that cataract, we simply take this lens out, take their cataract out, and do a typical lens implant. Now these lenses have a very small chance that the cataracts could form a little bit earlier, so sometimes people in their 40s will develop cataracts. And so typically we don't place these lenses in, who, in people who are in their late 40s or early 50s. If I'm thinking about eye surgery and I'm watching at home right now, mm -hmm. walk me through a little bit of that first patient experience that maybe like how am I gonna, what do I do to know what route to go? What's right for you, yeah. I think what's really important is, is just going to a place where all the options are available uh, because we don't wanna force the wrong surgery on the, on the patient and so if you don't do these surgeries or other types of surgeries you might end up with a surgery that you're not the perfect candidate for so really the first step is just getting a really comprehensive eye exam uh, where you get all the testing done to see what's the best option for you to make sure that you're seeing good uh, and really healthy for the rest of your life what's the recovery going to be like 
These are really quick surgeries. These are some of our happiest patients. A lot of times they've been so nearsighted their whole life, they can't see anything without their glasses or contact lenses. Uh, and the majority of these people wake up seeing fabulous the next day. So it's really re quick recovery, very similar to LASIK. And so most people are back to their normal lives the day after surgery. Now when I think of just contact lenses, I have a lot of different options mm -hmm. depending on my eyes. So yeah. are there multiple options also with these? Or yeah. Are they all similar? There are a couple of different options. Uh, it depends on how much astigmatism you have in your eyes uh, or what exactly your eye shape is. And so when we do all the testing in the preoperative evaluation, we can determine what's the perfect lens for the perfect eye. I loved hearing about the new study. You must just love the fact that you get to participate in all of these things. What does that mean to you as a doctor? Well, it's, it's a really big honor and it's a big responsibility to be able to help bring new technology to the forefront, but it's also really exciting to provide some of the most advanced uh, technologies and advanced lenses to people in our, our, you know, our home community and give people a shot at experiencing this new technology really uh, at the forefront. What do most patients say? I know you say they wake up seeing better than they've ever seen before, but you see them, I'm sure, down the road too. Mm -hmm. What do they tell you about like their quality of life even? Yeah, and you know, one of our partners, one of uh, the ophthalmologists at Vance Thompson Vision has had this surgery before and a lot of times they say it's the best decision they've ever made because it is such a life changer, especially when you're as nearsighted as these patients are. You're really uh, uh, limited by what you can do without your glasses and contacts. So it's a very freeing procedure for people and it gives them the freedom to live the life that they want to live in the way they want to live it. We talked about the differences and who this is better for, but if you're still a little bit confused, really, can you break down just one more time for me the this versus the other kind of maybe major yeah. two options, like with LASIK the and PRK. biggest kind of difference you might be yeah. looking at. So this type of person is maybe someone who's been told they can't have LASIK before. They're typically right. younger than 45, and they are, have very high prescriptions. So uh, if you look at the numbers on your glass or contact lenses case, these are typically people who are minus six or above kind of in that category. So if you're someone like that, really thick glasses, uh, younger than 45, maybe been told they can't have LASIK uh, in the past, that's the, the perfect patient for this procedure. Now since you're always on the forefront, I don't know if you can answer this, but is there anything, what's next, like what's next in ICLs? <laughs> Yeah, well, that's a great question. Uh, yeah, no, you know, I think what will really happen is we'll be able to use them for older patients uh, and be able to correct uh, nearsightedness and allow people to read up close without glasses. So there's just, I mean, every day something new every that day you're participating new. Yep. in and getting into. When you're actually in these studies, um, then once the surgery is available or once this new practice is available, you get to do it before anybody else here too because you've been part of the study? Yeah, and so it gives us a lot of good first-hand experience um, about what's coming up and what's working really well for patients. And so when the procedure or the new technology finally gets FDA approved, we know how to use it best uh, to make our patients see as best as they can. And going through this process over and over again as you're part of trials just helps you n know what to do next or what direction everything's going. Yeah, we, get, we have a little uh, crystal ball into the future about maybe the, the way things are going to go. Well, I love that. Seeing clearly and a crystal ball. Yes. It's, it's perfect all together. <laughs> yes, yes. It's a, it's a big promise, but... <laughs> well, thank you so much. Yep, appreciate it, Ashley. You'll be greeted with excellence from the moment you walk in the doors at Vance Thompson Vision. If you'd like to schedule a consultation with any one of the experts at Vance Thompson Vision to talk about which vision correction surgery is the best option for you, give them a call in Sioux Falls at 605-361-EYES or 3937. You can also find out more by visiting VanceThompsonVision.com. Vance Thompson Vision is changing lives by creating vision. This Kettleland Living segment has been sponsored by Vance Thompson Vision, where they are changing lives by creating vision.